houses aren't even valid anymore. Like, unless you can't you watch that below or That is gay. No, I am lazy in this instance. I'm not normally lazy, but that's where the three comes in, this, in right? Exactly. Like, three like I'm not gonna watch <laughs> this crap. Like, I'm not gonna waste. See, I have better things to do. I am lazy when it comes. I'm to I'm thinking people why they already tuned out. I'm willing to say they got through, like, we got to do the music, and they're just like, I'm done. Like, this exactly. Guy, movie fan, they ain't talking about movies anymore. Uh. Exactly. So the seven people that normally watch it, they're just like, uh. We got, like, maybe two people now watching. That's mm -hmm. it. Thank you, guys. Right we now, it's like Ghostface, Kid, and... Tony Wolfman. I'd say that's, 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 that's it. Good that's that's really it. We're just broadcasting. We just pissed off people who actually are hanging in there. There's, like, one guy, like, he didn't mention me. Fuck well, this show. And now I am the... The other people who are watching probably aren't commenting because they're the only ones who comment every single time. Well, that, in all fairness, though, actually, people <laughs> today, uh, Andrew and Thomas Beaver have been hitting us up lately. Uh, Winter King, Jimmy Maggot, uh, Whorehouse. I can't pronounce her name. Anna Neva... Uh, Anna, baby, I'm sorry. I can't think of the name. She's been hitting us up lately. So well, I'm saying, like, every yeah. single time. It's always... They've all shit. turned off now. Now they're just like... There's your, you know... So yes, I'm just saying they're the, they're, those are the two. Yeah, they they are our cult. Father. They were the one that started out. They're the one yeah. that literally hits that from the beginning. Especially since with Ghostface Kid, there was a bit of tension before. Yeah, it started yeah. off with a little hatred. I want to start that back up. I want to I start that feud again. She said what you smell, dude. Drama? She literally. Uh, yeah, I can smell it, you right? through the. Yeah, you have said. What was all that about? Um, I said his name was too good. She said. Uh, was it one of those? Because um, what a dick. you said Ghost Ghostface Kid, that's a good name. Wow, she's a dick. I really am. Tell her. Make a video of fun, like you're a dick. Please. You're a douche. No, no, dick's funny, though. It really when is. You, when you call a female a dick, it's just funny. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get some reviews finally. It's been like two I hours now. It has seriously been, we started this at like 8.30, it is 9.20. That's awesome. All right, uh, up first we got, from 1963, The Birds. Storyline is... This woman uh, follows this man back to uh, his small town of Bodega Bay, and the birds start mysteriously attacking everybody. <laughs> oh my god, and she show. delivers lovebirds. Lovebirds. Alright, so my review of this is I watched this back when I was in high school, actually. And, no, junior high. I watched it in junior high. And, uh, yeah, it was junior high. Because the school I went to, like, they count sixth grade as not junior high, and then when I went to a different school, they had, anyway, it was basically junior high. Um, was anyway, it sixth grade or was it seventh? Well, see, when I was at that school, it was considered it was sixth grade. It was sixth grade. <gasps> That's sixth grade. In some places, count uh, junior high. Some people sixth know. grade. He watched it when he was like yeah. twelve. I like junior high. <coughs> um, anyways, and I remember really liking it then. Like, and it wasn't scary. Like, it, it's a horror movie, it's retarded. but it's not scary. Is it? Yeah. Hey, you're really? uh -huh. all right. This is only a first right here. Misery can actually chime in on the movie. She can chirp in. <laughs> you <laughs> so anyways, uh, so yeah, watch it then, I really dug it, and then of course, whenever I started really getting hardcore into Hitchcock, I revisited it, and you know what, <coughs> fucking awesome, like literally, I think the direction in this, and yes, there are certain scenes where you can kind of tell, like, like <laughs> you can kind of tell that well, she's not really where, like, driving the, the car, well, I'm okay with that, that never bothered me, like the whole like, so project funny, back, oh rear back, or projection, yeah, yeah I'm always, I'm cool with that, um, uh, like, there's a scene like when the birds are there, you can tell there's a quick cut before they fly away. Almost like they had to be like, hey, hey, go! And then they <laughs> flew up, and then you just, there's like a weird cut there. But once again, oh look at the time. So <clears throat> the dude was a master in his time, and I mean, if he's there today, he wouldn't be having shit like that. He'd be fucking balling out of control. Um, this movie to me is just, and it, it, you know, they did it again with Bats. They had the movie Bats for Bats. And to me, I think this is better than Bats. Like, as much as I love Bats, because Bats, I think, is an awesome movie. I'm sorry, to me, what makes this great is that there is a lot of buildup. There's a lot of scenes where the birds ain't attacking anybody. Ain't fact, they, 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 they ain't talking about it. They ain't talking about it. They ain't talking about it. The, the they birds don't even come in until, like, I don't know. The first bird attacks when, he, when she's on the boat. I'll say a half hour, maybe a little less than that, but literally it's all about her and her... Like if you if you watched it up to that point, you would think it was a standard romantic type thing. You know, she likes this guy, and there's this flirtation between them. But then Bert fucking swoops down and attacks her ass. Fucking head bunts her, and dude, she's like bleeding down inside of her face and shit, and you're like, holy shit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I do like, I think uh, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of scenes where they use real birds, and a lot of scenes they use fake birds, and some scenes you're just like... Swinging it on a hook. 
the snake is directed at his hand and they're just like, Grr. Hitchcock got lazy, he's like, oh, I'm carrying Grr. Also, look for the Hitchcock Squad. cameo in the very beginning of the movie. He's the one coming out of the pet store. It's a game I always play. Everybody plays. Everybody who's a fan of Hitchcock plays that game. Uh, no, the acting is top notch. Uh, a lot of complexity. Whenever she talks to uh, Miss uh, Hayward, the school teacher, I love that scene because there's Me just too. so oh, yeah. many. You, you don't okay. There's I just so, so many. I mean, just the just performance alone is just because you know she I had did. a thing for that guy and she moved all to that town and she kind of threw her old life away. Now she's kind of stuck in a small town. You can tell she don't really like it. And there's this new girl who's kind of doing the same thing. And just, there's a weird tension there. It's not even like hatred. It's just, I don't know, it's an odd, I love it. It's just awesome right there. Uh, it also has, what was her name? The little girl. She went on to do Alien. I can't think of that girl's name for life me now. I'm on here. Uh, fuck. As soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to know what I'm talking about exactly. It was a little girl, uh, the girl in Aliens, not Sigourney Weaver, the other one. She's in this movie. She's a little girl in this one. Uh, yeah, this, like I said, the acting. You know what I like about old movies from the 50s and 60s? The leading ladies. They had this class to them. Mm -hmm. This just like, air about when them. When she's in the little boat, she's cold. Yes. But she still looks She looks classy. stunning. She really is. She, she did. Just, like, and there's a scene where she's, she's kind of looking like this. And just, it's so adorable. You're like, her and Grace Kelly each had it. She, she was from a rear window. And they're, 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 Hitchcock just knew how to pick these leading women. He just knew. And I, there's something, I mean, you watch a movie today, it could be the same movie, and the girl just has, like, you know, Some tank top on. on and I don't know, she's probably hot, but there's something just kind of, uh, like, it's, it's just a bit of trash. trash. She's a bit of trash there. And I truly do like my leading ladies to be beautiful and at the same time intelligent and like have early, sophistication. Like, yes, I love that old, and you just don't have that anymore. I don't care. I mean, don't, I love, much as I love Julianne Moore, she don't quite have that for me. Uh, and it's just something I think is lost. I don't think you will ever get that back. Class. It's something that's, yeah, I mean, there's just something that you just, I don't know. Sophistication. Class. There it is. And she has, uh, Tippi Hedren has a Hedron? Hedron? Fucking I don't know. Yeah, anyways. Uh, Hedron. Hedron. I'm probably still mispronouncing this. I'm horrible with names, fuckers. Uh, but anyways, no, there is just something about her in this movie that just, you know, it's stunning. It's really just stunning. Uh, there is some gore, not a lot. The one dude gets his eyes pecked out. That's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, once again, I, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, music's good. Fucking direction's good. My favorite, my favorite shot in the movie is the bird's eye view is when the gas station blows up and there's like a trail of fucking fire and it like blew up the cars and shit. And you just see this... Fucking aerial view of this small, quiet town, and there's chaos in this one pocket, and the fucking birds start swooping down. Uh, I think it's one of those things, too, where people just underestimate birds. I think people are just like, if this happened, it, would, or it never happens, we can just take them down. I'm like, no, you would, because, A, I think it would happen in a way, like this one, where you don't, it just kind of happens, and you're like, what's, are they really attacking us? What's going on? And I think you spend too much time asking questions, and then by this time, you're already overran. Um, love, sense. love the ending. I love the ending. Uh, it has this very town beat where they're trying to get her to the hospital, and they open the door. Birds. They're just fucking everywhere, and they're not even attacking. That's so scary because it's like they know they won, and they're like, "Go ahead, get in your car, drive away. We're gonna get you." And I love that. Like it's just so fucking like, uh, um, the scene where uh, oh, Tippy's going to go uh, check on the girl from school, and. They're singing their thing and thing, and she sits down, and there's a place set behind her. The monkey set, bars. Monkey oh bars, my god. And you see yes. one bird land, and it goes back to her, and she's smoking her water, and it goes back, and there's like two or three there. And then by the time she turns around, bam, there's a shitload of them there. And I'm like, that is one of the best scenes, A, in cinema history, horror history, mm -hmm. and just whatever. It literally is just one of my favorite scenes, period. So I, I highly recommend, I, I recommend anything Hitchcock does. Even his shitty early movies that dudes just suck balls. You can still see he's honing the his potential. craft, and it's literally yeah, very visual. Uh, he just he knows what he's doing, and it just the story ain't that great. And he hones that, and of course by the time you know this box set was out, he was just fucking hitting home runs and slam dunking the entire fucking time. So highly recommend this. It was followed by a sequel. I have never seen it. I hear really bad things about it. Like I heard it was just god awful from the 80s, so it's like, it we like two decades, like, we can do a part two, and it just, it, they didn't, so, um, so yeah, highly recommend the birds, well, Maya, uh, we watched this, what, last night, night before? Yeah. Let's hear your review. I don't like it, because they didn't tell you, like, why they, the birds attack. Really? Yeah. 
see, uh, personally, I I'm like that. Still enough to be. I I I like the fact that we don't know, like, were they sick? Did they just decide, like, you know what? We're tired of being mistreated. We're tired of being put in cages and fed on Thanksgiving. Fuck this. We're gonna kick some ass. I, I like. We're tired of being fed on Thanksgiving. Fed for Thanksgiving. Or you just said fed on Thanksgiving. It yeah. doesn't matter. Does it fucking matter? Yeah. I guess it does. I'm sorry. It does to me. <laughs> we're like giving them dinner and they're like, we're sick of this <laughs> and we're coming after you now. It's like, really? It's stuffing. Oh God, why? Why? <laughs> All right, so he didn't like it because he didn't know what was going on, or didn't they explain the reason? Yeah. What else did you not like about it? <laughs> if I show her anything yeah. pre two thousand and one, pre nine eleven, I show her anything pre nine eleven, she's just like, Ugh, this is crap. Freaking. If it's not crisp and clear and digitized, she just doesn't. Desensitizing people. That's what it was. So you like it's old and they didn't explain it. Yeah. All right. Anything else we had to like? What did you did you like something about it? You laughed when the birds were swaying when she was driving the car. Oh, yeah. Laughed out loud. She went LOL for real. <laughs> All right. Well, Misery, you have seen this movie, so uh, let's finally we actually get a Misery review. This is fucking well, rare really, as shit. Really, because this is, like, basically what you said. Like, I love you on first. <laughs> this fag over <laughs> here taking the, taking the spotlight. No, like, basically, like, it's exactly what you said. Like, you can... It's it's a good it's yeah, it's, it's a really it's good movie. It's a solid film. Yeah. I mean, it's a horror solid film. or not, it's just a good movie. It really movie. is. Yeah. Like in any aspect, it's great. Like, I I love the scene where like you just see all the birds and the monkey bars. It's yeah, just like, it's just it's it's just, it's and then, unsettling. And then all the kids like it starts attacking the kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Coming down. Oh. Shit. And then they like, get in the car and mm -hmm. they're like pecking through the windows. Oh yeah, and the the phone booth scene when she goes like she runs out mm -hmm. and goes to the phone booth. And clearly, you can tell it's green screen behind or whatever, or yeah, green whatever screen. projection. Yeah, but it was totally green screen. They were like, then. they CGI the whole thing. Actually, it's crazy. <laughs> but uh, every bird, just, every bird. Is <laughs> I'm seriously picturing like a plastic bird channel. to get from the Dollar oh. Tree, like on a rope. <laughs> They're just like <laughs> throwing it, like baseballs. Just, <laughs> oh birds just like sideways going through. <laughs> we should make a remake. We should remake the birds. I'm in. If I can be Tiffy Hedren, let's totally. <laughs> I will be Tiffy. Anyways, can you awesome your, scene. Can I just love the scene with a car. Like I will. For this first roll, I will. Get you a blazer. <laughs> when the shoulder pads. When the car is coming for the the, the the phone booth, and you're like, holy shit! And of course, it, it stops, and then kind of goes the other way. But you're like, for a moment, you're like, holy shit! She said, like, no one, like, you know, it is. She's the main character. But then again, they killed the main character in Psycho early on. Mm -hmm. Just saying, it could happen. But no, I mean, yeah, it's, it's good stuff. All right, anything else to add, then? Or? Huh? Anything else to add or? Oh no, not really. Like, I mean, basically, because you you freaking you just you hit everything. Like, <laughs> you, well, we're in the greens up top. Birds is awesome. Yeah. All right, Billy, you seen the birds? No. You know me. You. All right. So the birds, check it out. Now next we have a movie from 1999, a little movie called The Player Witch Project. All right. Uh, basic uh, summary is a. Uh, Three college kids are uh, making a little documentary about the Blair Witch. They enter the woods, and one year later, their footage is found. All right, where's over here? Sweetie, we watched this I today. Don't like it. You don't like it? Because like, the camera is like, they won't concentrate on the person that's talking. And it, but it's found it footage. Yeah. That's their their yeah, footage and was then found. Their life mm -hmm. goes off and you can't see nothing. Uh -huh. So you, you just don't like the found footage aspect of it, yeah. just to uh, have the shaky cam and it's, you know, they weren't looking on it. Did you just say shaky cam? Shaky cam. That's what they call it, shaky cam. Alright, anything else you want to add then? Like, is there anything you did like about it? <coughs> no? no? <laughs> Alright. Misery, have you seen Blurry Spider? Mm, I don't think so. Well, I, I thought I had, but I guess I didn't. You know what's rarer what? than a Misery Black review? What? A Natalie Myers review. She stayed with us today, and she watched The Blair Witch Project. Natalie, I haven't even stepped on the floor yet. Go right ahead. Give us your review on The Blair Witch Project. Speak up, Billy. I gotta hear you. I thought it was really good, but kind of like what Maya said, that the camera was really good. Okay. And it was really good. Okay. Yeah. And it was good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I liked it. Liked it. Wow. All right. Maybe I should have came over here, too. <laughs> I thought well, it was kind of cool how he said We weren't planning on that, but yeah, it just kind of happened up there. I what? Think my favorite part was when he was by the tree and he said, I'm staying by this tree. 
with the volume. Yeah. This could not give me. All right, let me try it. Let me see if I can jump in here real quick. And... All right, Blair Witch Project. The first time I watched this, it was when it came out. In fact, we went to the drive and watched uh, American Polly and wow. Blair Witch Project. And remember hating the Blair Witch Project. Shut that up. Thinking like this was just the biggest piece of shit. Uh, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, at that point, you gotta remember, I was just got out of the eighth grade going to the ninth grade. Yeah, I was in 91. Is that what you said? No, 99. Oh, 99. Uh, I'm not that old shit. Um, anyways, uh, six. so I'm, you know, I'm still kind of young and naive. I think I'm 15 at the time. And literally... You're 15? You were the young one? Huh. 85? I was born in 98. Oh, I've been 14 actually. 14. Wow. So, you know, I thought this was real. Like, all the advertisement you've seen was like, this is real. And I'm like, all right. I didn't know what the fuck found footage was. And whenever I found out that it was found footage, when I saw it was going to be a documentary, the whole fucking movie, I was just done. I was like, oh my God, really? Where's the lighting? Where's the set? You know, I wanted, I wanted the movie. I didn't know what found footage was. So I hated it. When I first watched it, I was like, this is the dumbest thing ever. I didn't think it was creepy. didn't think it was scary. didn't think nothing. Uh, then you find out it's not real. And I was like, wow. So now I just wasted my fucking time on that. So I was just like, fuck that movie. That's what I did. Just did that. Part two comes out. Book of Shadows, The Blood of Witch 2. Fucking loved it. Uh, remember, and that, that was a more straightforward movie. You know, I, I just I thought that was just so fucking uh, for its time. I thought it was just great. I was just I, I probably should have made my top three movies that everybody else hated because they got shit on big time. So <coughs> fast forward a few years, we get to the DVD age, and so I want you know I'm getting Blair Witch Two, and the kind of like I'm ordering out of it has them both together, and it's cheap, but you gotta have one with the other. So I was like fuck. Because you can't just buy one without getting it. Yeah. So I bought it. This guy's big on that. Like you can buy the first one, but you can't just buy the second one. Yeah. Oh no, 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 not necessarily that. Because I got, I've broken that a little bit now. How? Because so, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I got that. Just the one suck ball. Okay, uh, I got. I don't have Terminator sister. Three. You got a sister. But you have one and two though, don't you? Uh, I got one, two, and four. That's different. You have one and two. Okay. If you had three and four, but you didn't have one and two, you would kill yourself. You. Like, if you liked them all, yeah. you wouldn't, you could. Oh, yeah, if I liked them all, yeah. You yeah, can't take that. Like, if I don't like, like, one, I ain't gonna, you know, fucking get it, you know what I mean? But it would nag at you. And no, it really, if, if also, if I, if, but see, it's rare to have a sequel that I love, and a, it's the first time. It was literally like, oh, I, I'm probably thinking, well, I'm going to turn the camera a little bit. Oh, yeah, this movie, but right now I'm drawing blank. But, yeah. Now, you're right, though. But if I do like the entire series, right. yeah, I'm going to go from one and work my way up. This is the case, though, that I thought one was retarded and two was good, so I was like, I'm going to, I'm about to, fuck it, I'll get it. So I buy it, and uh, watch two again, and it was just still awesome. Uh, one night, I was like, you know what, let me watch one again. Because I know at this point, and this is spoiler alert, because it's 1999, uh, you don't see the witch, you don't see nothing in this movie. Like, it just, it's literally I just noises. Weird. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just noises, and, you know, the tricks, you know, it's just what your mind is, you know, kind of telling you. And so then I watched it one night, and I'm like, wow, this is actually kind of good. Like, I was more into it the second time around. And then I would go on to watch it again and again. And actually, more I watch it, more I love it. Like I was just like, wow, this actually is really good, because it is more psychological. Instead of it just being like a bloodbath or whatever, it's watching three people who are you know pretty much normal. I mean, they're just stereotypical normal teen horror characters, but you're watching them break down mentally, and that's what I liked about it. You watch these three happy-go-lucky kids go in there with their cameras and try to make a documentary, and then you start watching them crumble from the inside out. You start seeing them turn on each other, and Really, and they're actually really, it's not really acting, it has more of a natural feel to it. Like, it just seems more real. Like, I'm sure you put these three in another movie, it'd just be sucky. But like, wow, these guys suck. But in this movie, it worked. It's like, take a chance on Massacre. I saw fucking Marilyn Bird or something else, I'm just like, wow, she's not that good. But in that movie, she was excellent because it had this very realistic feel to it. I know a very creepy part whenever it showed his tongue in the. Yeah, that was pretty fucked up, actually. That never, they were down in the basement, and that one guy was placing in the corner. That's right. Uh, no, like I said, uh, it's just watching these people break down, turn on each other. I like that. And it's just like, you know, and of course you keep telling yourself, like, just go in one direction. Like, I always say to myself, like, if I got lost in the woods, I'm going to take one direction and just keep fucking running. And I'll eventually get out. Whereas, in this, they head south for an entire fucking day and they somehow wind up right back where they started. And you're like, what the fuck? And now you're going to think, maybe there is a supernatural aspect to this. Another creepy scene is one night when they're camping, 
The lights are off. That's another thing too. They don't ever like show everything. It's not like a, it's not like other foul footage where they just film every fucking thing. There is times when the camera's off, but it comes back on and you just hear them like, "What's that?" And you start hearing children laughing outside. Now I don't care that who the fuck you are. Children laughter is creepy anyway, but you put that in the woods. Fuck that. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I would just be like, you know, you guys are on your fucking own. Fuck the documentary. I just run. I just run and probably wouldn't get caught by the Blair Witch or these kids. Uh, so yeah, that was. I thought it was really fucking creepy. Um, the stick figures they find. They find like they literally find like this area in the woods that just have these stick like voodoo looking shit. And if mm -hmm. you guys know me by Shots now, no fuck with it. And. That's just, and once again, it's not scary, but it's a little unsettling. I mean, if you can imagine, because I, I grew up in the country, so I, we, we walked the woods all the time. And thinking back, if I would have come across something like that, I probably would have shit my pants were crying. Just literally right there. And, <laughs> I can see this. Yeah, no, seriously. I mean, I'd just be like, no, fuck it. Oh, okay, why? And so I like that scene. I think that's just a really cool scene. Uh, and then, like she said, at the end, when, or of course, I guess the, the, the teeth and tongue in a stick that bundle. Was, oh my God. That's just kind of nuts there, because the guy goes missing. Because that's another thing, too. Like, one guy was missing. Like, they were taking shifts, like, watching over the camp. We thought it was kind of weird because somebody didn't the witch shows up. Who are the same guards just going to say fucking run, but whatever. However, I guess what happens is, like, you know, it takes one of them. And, of course, the two are left and trying to find it. At one point, they actually hear him crying out for help in the night, and they can't find him. You know, and it's just, it's really, it's another one. So, if you just think about the really being, like, put yourself in their shoes, that would be fucking terrifying as hell. Like, I don't care how 